Hello YouTube, this is the Krosama, and here we have the Crossbone Gundam X2 Verka. Uh, it's a limited edition on Premium Bandai. Um, really good kit. I, I think it's going to be pretty amazing. It's X2, you know, pretty much the same mold from the X1. Haven't built the Verka Crossbone, but I built the full uh, full cloth, and I think that was amazing kit. Uh, if you know, it suffers from some old problems from back in the day of when it was first manufactured, but all in all, I think it was a good kit. So let's go ahead and just take a look at it real quick. It was made in uh, 2013, I think roughly about June or July, if I'm not mistaken. And it is Universal Century 0133 Jupiter War. It retailed for 4,400 yen. Uh, I got it for around that price, I think I got it for about 5,000 yen, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, good price overall though. And we're going to go ahead and look here on the sides. Uh, Gundam Crossbone X2, you know, all that good stuff. And you can get some good illustration right here on the side. You can see here with his mouth open, you know, showing some good teats. Here, the cockpit, which is nice. Here's just a little nice pose with the cloth. The core fighter. And here's a uh, little fist javelin. And some other little knickknacks, all this weaponry and stuff. Little shield, pretty nice. And over here, you know, it lists all the things that, little tech de uh, details about it, which is pretty nice. It's actually a pretty small Gundam if you look at its height and, you know, the weight is pretty small. So, and here's uh, two really nice pics, full pics of it, fully decaled up. So, uh, let's go ahead and crack this bad boy open. And we're going to go ahead and start off with the A plate. Here you're going to see the nice little beam effect parts, pretty cool. And you get some clear parts up here, obviously for the uh, core fighter it seems. Uh, they've got the skull, which I, I think looks pretty cool. Um, I, I really want to paint this kit, but uh, I'm just feeling so lazy. Um, face piece right there. You get some nice yellow over here. You get the fin, all that good stuff. So this kit's looking pretty good. I like the colors. It's um, it's a black, but it's, it's not too dark. So, I mean, I think it's going to look really good. Uh, it's nice black. So Here we have the B runner. I think it looks pretty good. Uh, it's a small little runner. It looks like it's mostly going to be for uh, the body because you get a lot of chest pieces over here and stuff. So uh, Once again, it's going to be all black. I think it looks good. Yeah, let's move on. Here you're going to have the C runner, which is it's a weird blue-ish. Yeah, I'm going to go with blue, closer to gray. Well, actually closer to blue, but it has like a tint of grayish. It would seem, I guess I'm not too uh, familiar with my colors as it seems. But uh, this is going to be for the feet, you know, mostly feet parts. You got uh, some wrist parts right here, so that's pretty cool. Nice color. And here is the D runner. This is going to be once again all black. Um, it's going to be a lot for the thrusters over here. You got some leg parts and such. Um, I guess some uh, wrist parts right over here or forearm, so. Yeah, it's gonna be once again all black, but it does look pretty nice. Here is the E runner, uh, another all black runner. Looks pretty good though. Uh, you get the little figure right there. Uh, some weapon parts up in here, hands over here. Uh, yeah, mostly weaponry. You get some shoulder parts up here. And that's about it. So let's go ahead and move on to the next one. Here you're gonna have two F parts for the multiple joint, uh, multiple parts, uh, the arms and legs, so that's pretty much exactly what this is going to be for, the joints, inner frame, all that good stuff, it's going to be a pretty nice gray, a little darker than uh, most kits I would say, but it does look pretty good, so let's go ahead and move on. Here is the G runner, uh, same color as the F, uh, it's gray, Here, this is going to be the waist, more waist parts and all that, this is going to be the hands, all right here. Uh, it's gonna it's going back to the old master grade type hands. Um, I do have the newer master grade hands, which was a, a you know a side you know extra uh, piece or whatever. Might use it, might not. Uh, I think those hands might be a little bit too big for these because this guy is pretty small, and those hands are you know made for the average height Gundam, uh, more or less the RX 78 2 type of height. So this is uh, pretty much gonna be it for the G runner. Let's go ahead and keep moving on. Here we have the H runner, same color as before. You know, nice pieces. It does seem like there's going to be multiple uh, parts. I guess it's going to be X2 exclusive, but it's still borrowing from the X1. So you're probably going to have a lot of leftover parts as it seems. 
it does look good though however you know it is what it is wasted plastic uh, maybe one day I can find a use for them because I do keep all my runners um, when well, all the, the runners itself like the trees but the, the extra pieces that come with them I usually keep those in case something goes you know, goes, goes wrong I can you know use them for something so let's go ahead and move on here is the eye runner uh, once again all gray and you're gonna have your little chain parts for the little grapplers that's on the uh, front skirts some uh, inner leg uh, inner frame leg parts and you got the thruster inner frames and knife and just some more stuff for the feet the actual thrusters right here so that's pretty cool uh, nice color and let's go ahead and move on and here is the K runner uh, you get some nice yellow right here for the fin I'm pretty sure this is the X2 exclusive fin the other one was obviously the X1 Here's going to be for his little javelin, which I think looks freaking awesome. I'm really excited to build that javelin. Um, I actually have a resin kit of it, but it broke and I, I didn't really want to deal with it. So once I heard the news of the X2 releasing, I was like, oh, well, I don't even need to worry about it. So and it was only a couple bucks, but yeah, this is pretty much all going to be for the, uh, this is pretty much all X2 exclusive as it looks like. because This is its own runner and it doesn't seem like there's any x1 parts on here it looks like it's pretty much all x2 so that's pretty cool um i'm probably gonna do a little bit of painting on this kit but i'm still excited especially right here this is probably going to get painted uh the same color that that blue color up here that's probably gonna be painted right there uh if i can find that color or mix it however i need to do it so uh yeah let's go ahead and move on here's all the beam effects you're gonna get some uh some beam effects with the sword right here some actual regular beam sabers, um, you know, some more little pieces right here. Uh, looks pretty cool, and this is probably going to be a part to, uh, to hold the shield right on the wrist. Um, I think it looks pretty cool, so let's go ahead and move on. Last two pieces of the runners, you're going to get the L, which has the person, a uh, little skull right there, and looks like it's just going to be little pieces for the side to hold the cloak. And this is going to be a couple of inner frame parts right here. That's it. Um, the only thing that's remaining right now is the little cloak itself, which I'm probably going to pose mine with it. I think it's going to look cool. You're going to get some wire for, not really too sure what the wire is for. Uh, I think it's going to be for the hooks, but that comes with a piece. I didn't go through uh, the booklet yet, so and I, I forgot what the X1, the full cloth, this had it as well. forgot what it, what it was for, so. Also, Stickers, you're gonna get a lot of yellow stickers. Those I'm probably just gonna go ahead and paint. Um, gonna marker or you know I'll, I'll use some actual paint. But uh, the sticker, the the eye sticker and the the sensor, the forehead and the back of the head, I'm probably just gonna use those. But all this yellow, I'm chances I'm just gonna paint those in. And then you're gonna get some water slides. Uh, I don't know if I want to use all these. I might, um, at least I'll use the, the really nice ones down here, but all these I might not use. We'll see. Well, I don't know yet, but if I do, then I will, and I'll see when the review comes. So let's move on to the booklet. All right, really nice booklet. I love the front cover. I think it looks freaking awesome. So go ahead and open it up. And here you get some really nice illustration. Love that javelin. That gun looks freaking phenomenal. You get the little pilot. And here's all the weaponry. I, I love the color. The, the black, blue, and uh, yellow. That just looks phenomenal. And here you get some more illustration. You know, with the uh, cloak. Really, really nice. Well, not illustration, sorry. Uh, model posing, professionally painted. And down here, you're going to get the X3 picture. I think, I can't wait to, to get the X3 full cloth right here which is awesome and the regular X1 uh, I love them I can't wait to build them and here's the manga right there this is probably the first uh, debut that he made so and then you're gonna get some list of runners nothing really too crazy and the body arms head all that stuff upper body yeah. that's pretty much gonna be about it just going to go through a list. Then back here is the decal list. It's all in colors. So that's actually pretty cool. I like that. That they actually put it in color. So 
and here you can get your color chart complete diagram and here's the actual picture of the decals so that's it guys uh, I'm pretty excited to build this I'm gonna get started on it ASAP so just leave a comment below on what you would like to see me build you see my um, my backlog video after this guy I don't really know what I want to build I'm probably gonna go to double bullet or the strike RM so we'll see guys but uh, thanks for watching be sure to stay tuned and I'll see y'all later